Now before I start this video, I'm going to point out the obvious. I know you clicked on this video because of the thumbnail, whether it be this one or well, this one. I don't know which one to pick yet for the video, but regardless of if you clicked on this video because of the thumbnail or because of a general interest in bad FNAF fan games, then well, you've come to the right place. FNAF has thousands of fan games, literally new ones are being made every day, so it's almost impossible to keep track of what slop is being produced, but for this video, I will be looking at 4 of the worst FNAF fan games ever made, with some being just straight up bad, complete scams, blatant robbery of other games assets, and the use of overly sexualized characters. So instead of me wasting your time on this intro, I have one last thing to ask. Due to all of your guys' support on my recent long form videos, I have to ask that if you enjoy this video then please subscribe. And if you don't enjoy this video, then well subscribe if you love Finance at Freddy's because I know that if you're watching this video you obviously have some sort of interest or love FNAF. But anyways, let's get into the worst FNAF fan games ever made. Now I don't even know where to start for this video, each game we will be looking at has its own set of problems, but I guess we will look at one of the most popular worst FNAF fan games that you probably know about, but don't realize it's a complete scam, with that being Candyland. Now don't get me started on all the videos talking about this game, because trust me, I know, I know there is a lot. But I want to say that before I talk about this game, my good friend Johnny the Night Guard made a full length video discussing the game. Sorry, <clears throat> I meant NFT project, that will probably never be turned into a game. And he made it almost over a year ago, and he goes in more depth than I'll have time for in this video, so if you want more context to the game, I'll link it at the end of this video. Now yes, you heard me right, Candyland is an NFT project, but before I get into all of that, we need to take a step back and discuss the project's history before we get into the whole NFT scam part of it. Candyland is a game slash animation series on YouTube created by Golden Lane Studios way back in 2022. The animations are insanely high quality and include characters that highly resemble the fun time animatronics, with the showrunner of it all being Susie Snack Time. Wow, that's just so original. I, I you know, snack time, play time, poppy play time, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, whatever. Anyways, you might be asking, well, what's the issue? How is this a scam? Well, that's when we move over to the official Candyland Twitter, where we will see, oh my god, it's an NFT project. Yeah, I already know that I said it was an NFT project, but this just really shows how big of a project it is. Looking at the Twitter, we can see all kinds of different variants of the Candyland animatronics, with, don't get me wrong, very cool and unique different costumes. So remember when I said that they were supposedly making this into a game? Well, they are quote unquote supposedly using the profits from the NFTs to fund the game's development, which seems just a little fishy to me. If the game was announced at the same time the first video came out, which I am not 100% sure if it was, then that was almost two years ago, and we haven't heard anything from the development since. And at the time of recording, there hasn't been any new videos in the past five months on the Golden Lane channel, and the Twitter has stopped shilling out the NFTs and is now reposting various videos from their other various other Candyland related YouTube channels. Because trust me, Candyland has like five different associated YouTube channels that just rake in the revenue. But hopefully the game does actually come out and is actually playable and decent. But we haven't gotten a major update in six months almost, and it just looks like to me they've taken the money and left. Obviously, games take time for development, and that's just my own theories and you know speculation. I'm obviously not saying this is fact, but I don't know. Using NFT money to fund your game is just sketchy. Plus, we also can't forget all the brain rot thirst trap content regarding Susie's Snack Time. Like, what is this? Like, why are you guys making this? Like, I get it. The five-year-olds are probably giving you you know hundreds of thousands of dollars by just re-watching this, but like, still, it just kind of harders your you know game's reputation. But anyways, that's the overall synopsis of where the Candyland project is at now, but if you think that sexualization of Susie is bad, then look no further to Five Nights in Anime. Now there is a couple of Five Nights in Anime games, and we won't be talking about a specific one, just all of them combined. And before I do start talking about it, I would like to preface that the games aren't bad at all. Obviously just like most other FNAF fan games, they are just recreations of FNAF with various changes, with the main and most notable, <coughs> sorry, two most notable features being the characters and stylistic changes. What, did you think I was going to say something else? Yeah, of course you were, you dirty minded freak. Anyways, yeah, why would anyone make this? Now, as I said, the games are inherently bad, but just the concept is a little weird, at, at least for me. Looking at the FNAF lore, with the animatronics being stuffed with dead children, then making a game about sexualizing said characters to such an extreme is just a little sus. I don't know, I just, I find it weird. Maybe I'm looking into it too much, which I probably am, but uh, yeah. But don't worry, it gets worse though. Looking at the game's jump scares, they involve a lot of, uh, oh, moving around and showing of certain body parts that have shown in this video, I would instantly get demonetized and also probably traumatize a couple poor children that might have accidentally have stumbled upon this video, so I won't show it just for those reasons. But it is on the wiki page that they have if you are curious. Don't tell anyone I said that. Now the games have obviously had a bunch of effort and work put into them, and the designs are actually pretty decent. But um yeah, the game isn't actually that bad, it's just uh, you know, a little weird, but I felt the need to include it anyways because first of all, I need to 
needed a good thumbnail and plus I'd also know I'd get a ton of comments telling me I should have included it so anyways on to the next FNAF fan game now the next game we'll be looking at is the return to Freddy's classic or for my OG FNAF fans better known as FNAF 3 fan made FNAF 3 fan made came out just one month after FNAF 2 released and shortly after its release a lot of youtubers played this game and because of that it garnered a lot of attention but due to the game being named FNAF 3 it got the developer Pontiatter Films in trouble he also got in trouble with the creator of Candy the Cat because Pontiatter stole the character without the creator's permission and as you can see by the gameplay it's literally just an amalgamation of the first two FNAF games poorly put together and the game barely even works correctly everything has terrible shading and quality and there is literally nothing original about this game because everything is stolen there's three versions of this game with very small changes those being FNAF 3 which is the one I was just talking about that got banned by Scott Cawthon and it's you know illegal basically FNAF 3 fan made which is you know still pretty illegal but you know at least it's not a one-on-one -on -one rip off of you know FNAF 3 and then the return to Freddy's yet again another youtuber named Toadbump made an amazing full-length in-depth video about these games so I'll link it at the end of this video as well if you're interested because trust me there's a lot more information and you know more in-depth stuff that I couldn't fit in this video that well you know they put in their video so you can go check it out at the end of this one now even though I gave FNAF 3 fan made a very quick rundown that's because first of all there isn't much to talk about when it comes to it and second of all I really want to get to the last FNAF fan game with that being Five Nights at Buddy now this game is quite literally so unknown that when I went to do research on it I couldn't find any sort of information for it the only reason I know about this game is because I played it as a kid because my mom wouldn't buy the FNAF games for me but luckily for me there is a gameplay video of it on YouTube so we will be looking at this video as this is the only proof of its existence the game's description says this can you survive nights at buddy well it's not even five nights anymore it's just nights buddy will get you as he is back you are a guard at a future science station you're protecting the facility at night blah 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 a bunch of more bad grammar and so on the game released in January 2015 and it really shows as most early FNAF fan games looked awful with FNAF 3 fan made as a good example this game had various different versions of it released so it's hard to keep track of what was what and you know so on but the gameplay footage that you are seeing is the version I remember playing as you can see the game is well bad the gameplay is the same as FNAF 1 check the cameras and so on the main character buddy seems to be sort of well I don't know what he is to be honest maybe an animal or something I, I don't really know but anyways buddy has some of the weirdest programming I have ever seen for a FNAF fan game it seems that he doesn't have certain places where he can be seen but instead he can freely move around wherever because bro can just be seen moving down the hallway and so on sometimes I, I really don't know why that happens sometimes he can peek through the doors as well and can also be seen on the cameras but other than that bro just does what he wants for some reason as well the science station that you play in is definitely not themed like a science station because we see a celebrate poster in the office and we also see on the cameras a possible party room I wish this game had a wiki so I can give you guys more clear and concise information about this game but I do know that there is an APK download I saw for this game when I searched it up and did research on it just make sure you don't get a virus or anything because who knows but if you think those fan games are bad then I think you'll enjoy watching this video on screen right now about the most illegal FNAF fan game ever made.